Hope you guys are doing okay today on Friday. I'm just out doing some chores. I had to clean my kitchen window that looks out here into the woods. So when we have big snowstorms and stuff and I'm in the kitchen, I like looking out that window and seeing the snow come down and the deer out here. So I said my property only goes up to where that tree is and where that little pine tree is. And then um, down that way, by the corner of that old crappy mobile home, goes in deeper. Um, I like this property, I like the way it's laid out. It's pretty nice. As you can see, I still have the green shed. Just had another person contact me a couple minutes ago and want to know how wide the door was. So I think that's got to be about at least the 25th person that's got a hold of me. Ask me some questions and then you never hear back from them. So in the spring, I'm going to order my new one. And then um, once I get the new one in place, then I'll just, and I haven't sold this one yet. I don't even have it listed right now. Might list it one more time during tax season. Because I, because to move this shed, the company that I know, to haul it 65 miles, they want $700. But that also includes them picking this shed up, delivering it, and setting it up at the, you know, the new owner's place. So I think that scares them off. I was asking 28, I dropped it down to 22 to help them with the shipping costs, but I'm not going any lower than that. Just be silly to do that. Uh, I, you know, another thing too is I'm kind of glad I held off getting the other one. I almost just went and got the other one. But uh, the new one is going to hit. This is a um, eight by twelve, and the new one's going to have the double doors on the end. But then I got thinking, you know, the prices are really low right now, and I'm hoping they're going to stay that low during when spring comes. I mean, I might actually go get the shed during the winter. And then um, have them deliver it during the spring when the prices are low. But I might just get another one of uh, these big ones, but with the doors on the side. So, because I was thinking, you know, you know, what if I get, I don't even know if that, I was thinking, what if I got another motorcycle? But I, I'm not sure if two motorcycles would fit in here. You, even if the doors are on the side over there. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I could put another motorcycle back in here. <laughs> I'm looking. I was talking to some guy on in the comment section. He was at, he had a, a CTX 700. I mean, he was asking me about the fuel mileage stuff. I told him what I was getting um, on uh, Big Red, but it's not really fair to for a lot of people because mine's all r on rural highways. Right away. I mean, look, I live right there in Highway C. And then I don't drive around in any big towns. So I was getting about anywhere from 48 to 52 miles to the gallon. So, and then we got talking about the bikes. And I, I realized how damn stupid I was for selling Big Red. Because, man, I really missed that bike. So I'm thinking about... Looking for another one come the spring. If I can find a good one. Because Bum will be a damn near paid off. And, you know, I'll just talk to the bank and just get another small loan. I'm looking, not, I'm not looking to spend more than 7000 for another CTX 1300. And I don't, I'm not going to buy it from a individual. I'm going to buy it, you know, through a dealership. As much as I hate the dealerships, but... At least if you have any problems, you got some sort of recourse to take them back versus an individual. I watched this one guy, um, Jess Trucking. I'm sure some of you guys know who he is. And he brought this one car. It's a white one. I don't even know. I'm not big into cars and stuff. Yeah, I come to find out I had serious motor problems and uh, tranny problems. They paid 20 grand for the car. So, you know, he's stuck paying for all that stuff. feel sorry for him. So that's why I don't buy 
from uh, private individuals anymore. I just buy from the dealership. Uh, I took uh, Heisenberg in to get the oil change, first oil change since I owned it. I'm not even sure how long I've owned it now, a year and a half maybe. And he changed the oil and he set the, um, that oil reminder. Uh, you know, it has synthetic oil. It, you know, that's what it says it has to, you have to put in it. And um, the next time I got changed the oil, 6,000 miles. So, and I, I don't think I'll have the car that long. So, because I a, don't really use it that much. And then during the spring and summer, I was going to be riding Bumblebee or my other motorcycle. So the car, I don't really use too much. So 6,000 miles, that's a long time. So I figure I'm going to keep it another year and a half, and then I'm going to get the, so a, new, a new one. I really like the, the Nissan Sentra. But I'm going to get the, a brand new one. I, they're right around, uh, well, the last time I looked, they were 33000 So I really, really like that car. I don't like the white, but it's a beautiful running car. I haven't had any problems with it. So that's like about it. I, like I said, I'm just out organizing stuff. I had to use my ladder today. I brought this Gorilla ladder over two years ago. I think I paid $139 at Home Depot for it. You can see I never use it. Look at how brand new. Today was the first time I used it. And it's got this tray on it. Right here. Just lifts up, pops off, and hooks up here. Works perfect. I love it. Like I guess you can see. Two years, <laughs> first time I used it. But you know what? I'm glad I brought it because I used it and it worked out perfect. I also got another, you know, a 16-foot one there, lightweight, and uh, I use that to put the tin on this the other shed. But I'm getting everything ready, getting the snowblower ready to go. Um, two poles today fire right up, so then I shut off the gas, let it run out again, so that'll be ready to go. I'm sure we're going to get snow in the next four weeks, five weeks at the most, so... I'm going to talk to my sister after I make this video and see if she wants this uh, uh, rigid, I think you pronounce it, vacuum. It's got a lifetime warranty on it. So, um, and Ridge is a pretty good company. It's got tons of hoses. It's got two different size hoses for this thing. But it's just, it's too big for me to be, just to use the vacuum out my car. It's just too much, too much work, too much hassle. So I'm going to see if one of my sisters want it. So when I was out here doing uh, my chores, I thought, um, oh, I should start up Bumblebee before the weather gets too cold. I'm really curious how that Duracell battery is holding up. Um, I said, I'm not going to run the tri triple charger on it until... Uh, Oh, like maybe in April, but it's only 39 degrees out, so I thought, yeah, I'm not going to start it up. Next week is supposed to be um, three days of both three in the 60s. If it gets in the 60s and it hits 60, you know, say right around noon, then I'm going to take Bumblebee out for a couple of days for short rides. And then that would be it for the season. But um, I just don't see it happening. And uh, I think it's going to be sitting here <laughs> until then. But I might at least start it up if it gets in the 60s. Just I just mostly want to A, hear it running. But I want to, I want to see how that battery's holding up. I want to know if it's going to fire right up instantly or if it's going to kind of, you know, struggle. <laughs> So, we'll see. But, um, yeah, more I'm thinking about this other shed, I, I think I'm going to try to buy another big one. they gotten so outrageous. They were, when I started looking for my green shed, this shed was uh, like five grand, 5500 I don't even know what it got. Oh, I know it got up to like 7000 something. So, if they're back down below five, then I might buy another 
big shed. And like I said, it's going to go out over there. That way I can just ride in here and then drive through here and then park inside the shed there. It's flat level surface, grounds hard. I put it, well, you can see the sand and then it'll be where the grass is. That's where I'll put it. That way when I get in and out, it'll just be sand. Then I have, um, I'm going to try to do a dry pour concrete pad in front of the shed. So hopefully I'll make it get, um, bone be in and out easier. And plus that the ramp will be even shorter to the ground. You know, it'll be like this one, this short, um, low incline to the shed. But yeah, that's about it. I'm just uh, finishing up some of the outdoor chores. And uh, thinking about Bumblebee. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying your Friday. I'll talk to you later.